These are the materials you will need. I use DK weight yarn, which is number three category yarn. I choose to work with Ultra Pima. It's 100% cotton and it feels so nice on the skin. It is from Cascade Yarns. This is one of the best yarn from Cascade that I really love working with. One scan is 220 yards. In total in this poncho I use six skeins and a little bit for the shorter part so one panel is three skeins we need to make two panels and a little bit for the shorter part like I said you need hook 3.5 millimeter hook tape measurement I'll show you how to use tape measurement to make it fit your body your shoulder your size path scissor yarn needle and also some stitch markers for you know easier to mark the stitch and you will not miss the count all right let's get started so let's look at this panel together this the structure of our poncho you're going to first of all make the guest wash according to the number the information you see on the screen here then you're going to measure your shoulder to shoulder plus one inch write that number down for me I have 14 inches plus one is 15 inches because on the side body on the side there is going to be the same for all sizes so in the middle part is the most important thing that you have to figure out how many half double crochet you're going to make but just follow my instruction and you will be able to do it so in the middle here is six inches for all sizes this is going to be a stitch a shell stitch design so take your number subtract with six inches write that one down as well because you're going to divide that number to two because that's going to be your half double crochet in both sides so here we go i have 14 inches and my shoulder to shoulder plus one is 15 inches subtract six inches is nine inches and nine inches equal 52 half double crochet divided into two 26 half double crochet both sides so all you have to do is to follow the steps that show here on the screen because that is your unique number that you have to find out. For the left and the right wings, it's going to be 7 inches the same and all the stitch count going to be the same as you can see here. 20 half double crochet, 22 chain and then your unique number count, 22 chain, 20 half double crochet on the other side. And now we got to find out what is your starting chain. So here the 6 inches is also 39 stitches. You have to plus that in your calculation. The way to find out how many chain you need, you will take your measurement number, mine is 15 inches plus 7 inches and plus another 7 inches here. So all this number is is all uh, mixed together will be 29 inches and 29 inches equal 175 chain or you can just take this 20 half double crochet plus 22 chain plus 26 half double crochet plus 39 stitches plus 26 half double crochet plus 22 chain plus 20 half double crochet this is my uh, formula so it's 175 stitches as well so your formula will be different because you will have different number on the sides um, my is 26 half double crochet is that my unique number you will have to find that unique number and replace that number there you will have your own starting chain 
So start off with slip knot and make your starting chain according to the number to the formula that I show you how to do. I am making 175 chain. Just to make sure after you got your chain done that the chain is not too tight or it's not too loose you can just check your chain like I'm doing it here right now pull it and you know just pull it until fullest ability and then put it on the ground lay flat and now measure again if you find that your chain stretch out more than you know the formula you can put the chain against your body and then you can fix it by either add more uh, stitches between the shoulder to shoulder part the one that you have to find your unique number or take it out some stitches if it was too you know too big for you so this way you can find out more after you already make chain but keep in mind that if your number is different one or two inches from the pattern don't you worry because this is a positive ES poncho it's really forgiving with the number measurement it's not the form fitting but just you know learn to see how the yarn work because different yarn also behave differently some yarn stretch out too much some yarn not so much so for that after you make change just do what I just show you and it will help you to find the right uh, measurement and the number the starting chain so row one <laughs> after you got your starting chain plus two chain and this plus two chain just to uh, build up the yarn you're going to add one half double crochet in third chain from hook and one half double crochet in each of the next 19 chain just like in the structure that we did together and here is my total 20 half double crochet Next, you're going to chain 22. And this is still the same thing that all sides going to do the same um, with this, you know, this formula until you come to your unique number, which I will let you know again. <laughs> so after you got your 22 chain, you're going to skip next 22 chain. So you have to count and really pay close attention that you don't miss anything. You have to count uh, the next 22 chain and then you're going to do your unique number. My unique number is 26 half double crochet that I'm going to do so my unique number is 26 after I skip next 22 chain I'm going to add one half double crochet in each of the next 26 chain So now you got 
your unique number made my is 26 half double crochet and now we're going to do the chain plus shell stitch design which is total of 39 stitches equal 6 inches so we're going to chain 15 chain and you're going to skip the next 15 chain and now add one half double crochet in next chain after you skip 15 chain now chain two skip next three chain and you're going to add the shell stitch in the next chain the shell stitch is a combination of two double crochet chain one two double crochet that is the shell stitch of this design so skip next three chain add shell stitch into the next chain And then chain two, skip next three chain and add one half double crochet into the next one. Now chain 15. Skip next 15 chain make sure you got it right <laughs> the first row is a little bit challenging to count but you will make it for sure so skip next 15 chain you're going to add your unique number again so i am going to add one half double crochet in each of the next 26 chain and this part before you start you can actually use the uh, stitch marker to mark the point already <laughs> i didn't do that but i think that would be useful if you use the stitch marker to already mark the point where you have to add the half double crochet so this way you know you can save the <laughs> the time to count but for me it was fine to do it this way so yeah go ahead add your unique number I'm going to make now 26 half double crochet and then I will continue to repeat what I did the other side which I'm going to show you as well. Here I have made my 26 half double crochet. You will have your own unique number. And what we have to do next is to continue with this chain 22 and skip 22 chain as well as you can see here in the table structure here that I um, put it on the screen is like the same like the other side at the beginning so now you're gonna skip 22 chain and then you're going to add one half double crochet in each of the next 20 half double crochet and that is going to finish your row one so yeah just keep in mind that it just have to follow this table structure that we create i show you in the beginning it's pretty easy if you have everything laid out on your notebook And here row two, chain two to build up the yarn, turn the work. And now you're going to add half double crochet back loop only. Look at that stitch. You see, you just poke the hook into the back loop only. And you're just gonna do the same like row one, but just add half double crochet at the back loop only. So after you chain two and you add now, one half double crochet in each of the next 
um, 20 half double crochet it has to be the same number like your row one the only thing that difference is back loop only so from now on every row you're going to do half double crochet back loop only on the part that you have to do half double crochet so yeah it's going to be the same and after that you're going to chain 22 skip next 22 chain and you're going to add one half double crochet in each of the next in my case is 26 half double crochet in your case has to be your unique number you're going to do that until you come to the middle part which is the chain and shell stitch design and i will show you how to do that middle part and here we are the middle part chain 15 and you're going to skip next 15 chain and you're going to add one double crochet in next half double crochet now chain three skip next chain two space one single crochet in chain one space on top of the shell stitch from previous row now chain three again and skip next two next chain two space and you're going to add one double crochet on top of that half double crochet from previous row you see this row two is slightly different in the middle part and that's it it's quite simple now you're going to chain 15 and skip next 15 chain and you're going to add one half double crochet back loop only in the next 26 half double crochet if you are making the same size as mine if not just do your unique number after that you're going to chain 22 and you're going to skip next 22 chain and again you're going to do the same like row one but just back loop only you're going to add one half double crochet back loop only in each of the next 20 half double crochet from previous row and here our row three is the same like we did before like in row two so just chain two one half double crochet back loop only in each of next 20 half double crochet chain 22 skip 22 chain one half double crochet back loop only in each of the next 26 half double crochet and now the middle part you're going to chain 15 again and skip next 15 chain you're going to add one half double crochet on top of that double crochet from previous row chain two and now you're going to add shell stitch on top of that single crochet stitch from previous row so remember shell stitch is the combination of two double crochet chain one two double crochet that is the combination of shell stitch for this design I forgot to say that you have to skip all uh, that chain three space but you already see that so yeah <laughs> that is the beauty of video tutorial right you can see what to do how to do it and now you're going to chain two and you're going to skip next chain three space from previous row and now add one half double crochet on top of that double crochet from previous row here you see getting into the shape so pretty and now chain 15 and you're going to skip next 15 chain and again everything is going to be the same on this side 
like on row two, you know, just like every row going to repeat this. So for this side, at the end, you're just going to add one half double crochet back loop only in each of the next 26 half double crochet in my case. In your case, going to be your unique number. And then you're going to chain 22 and skip next 22 chain. And then you're going to add one half double crochet back loop only in each of the next 20 half double crochet from previous row. And yeah, that's it. You're going to repeat row two and row three for the pattern. And so I made total of 91 rows, measure 29 inches width with 23 inches length. You're going to make as many rows as you wish and then you're going to create another panel the same identical panel and i will show you how to connect both panels together to connect you have to turn your work upside down and here you see your shell stitch should pointing down to the ground we're going to connect um, both panels from your row one not your last row but your first row so you have to go back to your row one and now we're going to do extra rows you're going to insert your hook into the corner of your work in the right corner slip knot at the corner of your row one chain two half double crochet in the same stitch one half double crochet in each of the next 19 half double crochet chain 22 skip next 22 chain and in my size, I'm going to add one double crochet in each of the next five double crochet. If you make bigger size and you need a better, like a wider um, band on this extra row, you can have more double crochet. But for me, five double crochet is just perfect. Row two, chain one, turn your work. You're going to do the straight edge. Um, you know, this is how I do my double crochet at the beginning because I like do it this way. I also have a video. I will um, link it either in the corner here in this video or in the caption below this video. So you can learn how to do this double crochet straight edge. And now you just gonna add one double crochet in each of the next four double crochet because this double crochet straight edge we count as double crochet. Now chain 22, skip next 22 chain. One half double crochet in each of the next 20 half double crochet from previous row. And now row three, chain two, turn the work. We are going to add one half double crochet in each of the next 20 half double crochet from previous row. Chain 22, skip next 22 chain. One double crochet in each of the next five double crochet from previous row. and yeah we are done chain one and cut the yarn so you're going to follow the same steps on the other side as well as on the second panel all right and now is the time to connect you're going to connect both panels on the half double crochet side and on the double crochet you will leave the chain untouched so just connect with your needle using each stitch of half double crochet and each stitch of double crochet. 
and you will also do the other side of course you do the other side in the same way we are also going to add the bridge and this is the double crochet five double crochet how you're going to do is to count from the middle design 10 stitch and you're going to slip knot chain three to build up the yarn and you're going to add one double crochet in the same stitch that you slip knot and then one double crochet in each of the next four stitches and yeah then in total of five double crochet then you're just gonna chain one and turn your work do your double crochet straight edge if you want to do the same as i do every time i work with double crochet and that double crochet straight edge count as one double crochet then you add one double crochet in each of the next four double crochet from previous row and now you're going to repeat row two you do five rows and then you will need to connect with the other part now as you see in the photo here in the image here and you will just have to repeat everything in the other side <laughs> you need to have two bridge yeah then you're done <laughs> try it on